Do you wonder why the SEC has missed things like the Bernie Madoff scandal, the Allen Stanford alleged scheme? Well, one out of the 33 probes at the SEC has revealed that while officials were supposed to be regulating, they were busy answering the question of, I didn't order a pizza. Sandra Smith has the details. It's a little bit of an uncomfortable Bounce story to cover, around. you know, calling government agencies and asking about a pornography investigation. But, I mean, very serious when you talk about uh, all the mishaps or all the uh, oversights, if you will, when it comes to the Stanford case, the Madoff case, where was the SEC, why didn't they catch these things? And now we're finding out, and not to put this on all SEC staffers, but there's been a probe opened up by uh, the Inspector General within the SEC, 33 to be exact, and dozens of cases have been found where staffers at the SEC were spending hours a day searching pornography sites on government-issued computers during business hours. Uh, so this all opened up back in February. I contacted the SEC today uh, looking for some sort of response from them. This is what uh, I, I got, and this is part of the statement that we received. They referenced that a lot of this is the same from February, but this is what they say is different today. Each of the offending employees, they say, has been disciplined or is in the process of being disciplined. Uh, some have already been suspended or dismissed. While any misuse of government resources is always a concern, since February we have further increased penalties. And that's a spokesperson over at the SEC. Meanwhile, on this same porn investigation, uh, Representative Daryl Issa is speaking out. He says this stunning report should make everyone question the wisdom of moving forward with plans to give regulators like the SEC even more widespread authority. Um, inexplicably, rather than exercise its existing regulatory enforcement authority, SEC officials were preoccupied with distractions, and in one case, they found one SEC staffer, a senior-level attorney, was spending up to eight hours a day during business hours on a government computer searching for porn when he ran out of hard drive space. Uh, the investigation found that he had stashed uh, pornography on DVDs and CDs that were stored throughout his office at the Washington, D.C. headquarters of S the SEC. And that raises questions about their intelligence. Yeah. $29 web filtering software. Try it, SEC. Well, and the SEC did make it a point to say that they caught all of this themselves before it was... Yay. Sandra, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Cheryl, <laughs> it's nice to see you. Follow up on that, Cheryl. Great <laughs> transition, guys. Thank you, Joe. No. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll see you back here in an hour from now. Well, home sales through the roof, folks. The largest gain in nearly five years for sales of new homes. Is it a sign of an improving economy, or is another housing bubble about to burst? We're all over it on this Friday for you with Greg Rand, managing partner at Better Homes and Gardens, Rand Realty. Nicole is on the floor of the NYSE with market reaction. Shibani Joshi over at the NASDAQ for us again on this Friday. Plus, it is the CEO hour here at Fox Business. We have got three, count them three, CEO interviews coming up for you. First on Fox Business Interview with Republic Airways CEO Brian Bedford. We're going to talk about the company's plans to merge its regional carriers, Midwest and Frontier Airlines. Plus, we toast Boston Beer Chairman and founder Jim Koch on 25 years of beer making for his company. And if you're still thirsty, we've all